After the final test of the new CBR for Le Mans in July, we were the only Japanese team to take on the 2020 EWC 24 hours of Le Mans in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic. This was the first time that the new CBR and the FCC clutch, which were developed together with us, had competed in EWC race and besides it was a 24 hours race. It was a perfect win. More importantly, it was hard work of riders and overall strength of team that gave us the first world win in a 24 hours race on an all new bike. Behind this, we have a highly reliable bike and accurate parts. The FCC clutch, which has been developing with us after the new CBR was unveiled, is a major factor in this. When Le Mans test on early March, due to using almost stock bike, all riders said, we can't compete with a standard clutch, but race week at Le Mans, they said no word about it. If they don't say anything, it means they admit it, so we won't hear anything too, said project leader Akiyama. It is not too much to say that the victory of Le Mans has been produced by FCC clutch. It was a great combination of each the three, riders, bike and team. We have the support of people, or parts, who don't normally surface, but FCC, or Clutch, have the ability to put it all together Fuji, the general manager also stated. The final round after Le Mans was cancelled by the Boldor due to COVID-19, and a week later it was a 12 hours of Estoril, Portugal. Here is stop and go layout, is a technical course with 4182 meters long, 985 meters home straight. The first corner is a long straight off downhill section where riders have to slow down from 6th speed to 2nd in one fell swoop. So the working of clutch very important. Josh says about the situation during the testing on March. Next we like this. Um and it was sort of uh, sort of on very strong and then and then dropped off very quick. There was no there was no consistency over the braking area, which we really struggled in. And to do this, uh, we we lost a lot of grip from the rear tire as well. So uh, it it was very difficult to to make a lap time, let alone be consistent over over race distance on the standard clutch. That it's got it's got a really nice progressive um, progressive. Uh, hold on the, on the on the on the clutch and the way that the bike uh, slows down so for us it's it's so important to have have the FCC clutch for sure because um, over race distance it's it's a must for sure you need um, you need that consistency throughout the race and and uh, the FCC clutch provides that in fact our CBR was so stable in the braking section anybody could see clutch was working well leader mechanic Elis Brunet says. After the first uh, Le Mans test, we had uh, some problems, so we reported uh, to FCC factory to try to find a good uh, setup or good clutch to uh, try to improve for the race. It's uh, very difficult to compare because uh, all in this clutch is uh, much more better than a standard. Uh, also, we have a much better uh, uh, materials and uh, also the tolerance, uh, everything is much better in this clutch. So, uh, also riders are like more the feeling with uh, this clutch on the bike. Uh, in racing we need the clutch which uh, all the parts is uh, made thinking in the mechanics job because uh, for being faster on the track we need uh, some uh, fast uh, setup parts to don't lose a lot of time in the box. So uh, for this FCC clutch is uh, perfect. We also spent a compete with strong rivals one after another in Estoril for 12 hours, riding consistently for 12 hours. Finally finishing short in a 25 second gap to a rival, and win the second place. 25 seconds in 43,200 sex. We have to eliminate this gap and surpass it. It is one issue for next season.